Hi, I'm Ken. 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 Up. And I'm coming to you from the tree, tree house. This is Nintendo's top secret, top secret R&D facility here in Redmond, Washington. I'm here to tell you about top secret of Nintendo 64. Well, well, well. Actually, nobody really cares about the Nintendo 64. Six, 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 64. Right. You don't call it the Nintendo 64. Right. You don't call it the fun machine. You don't call it the fun machine for nothing. Here we have the cartridge slot. There's some other things we can do with this port, but we can't talk about that right now. And here we have the controller ports. I'd like you to notice that we have one, two, three, four port, but we can't talk about that right now. Oh, yeah. And here we have the new control. Notice the three prongs. This allows you to hold the three prongs. This is one of the reasons we have the Z button. The Z button can be used as a trigger port, but we can't talk about that right now. 3D control for a 3D world. Here we have the memory pack. Fits in here. Just, 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 just. There are several advantages to having the memory pack in the controller port, but we can't talk about that right now. Hello! So let me jump into the game. You notice that Mario's standing in this huge field outside of a big castle, but we can't talk about that right now. Now if I take the control stick and I just move it a little bit, you notice that Mario goes full out sprint, but we can't talk about that right now. Full 360 degree control. 360. I can do a ton of stuff with Mario, but we can't talk about that right now. There's one other cool area I'd like to show you in the game before we move on to the other products. And that's Bowser. But we can't talk about that right now.